Who is your ultimate girl bias? CL. I'm not gonna leave her alone. Who's your ultimate boy bias? I would say like a GD or TOP, but right now I've been I've been watching a lot of Jackson. He is what I would call Bay. His personality and his and his humor is like so similar to mine and I just I wanna be friends, man. I just wanna hang out and watch some Netflix. Do you like one company more than the others? Before, yes, like YG for me was like the pinnacle of k-pop but right now not really like i enjoy everything from everywhere right now i would say the my favorite company right now and like the top company this year would be jyp the way their otters <laughs> artists came out and performed and killed it on the charts and um himself jyp just like doing his thing i see jyp like the company doing a lot more than the other companies for some reason for me from what i see no i don't put one company over the other like i don't favor one company and i don't like see a group and they come from one company i'm like no i just like enjoy it. music is music who's your favorite song by an older k-pop group are you talking about like old like turbo or like hot or like <laughs> I don't know what you mean by older group. I would say like Big Bang, I guess is an older group, like early 2000s, because K-pop kind of took off in the 90s. I think Big Bang contributed to like the big hollow and like K-wave movement in the early 2000s. So I would say Big Bang. What group would you like to meet the most? GOT7 looked like they would be really, really fun to like interview or talk to. I heard that you had a concert today. <laughs> Yeah, can you say it to the fans? Oh, uh, we have a concert on <laughs> April at the end of April. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Big Bang would be like so iconic and like so memorable. And like, it's Big Bang. I think Big Bang. Like, that would seem like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I would sacrifice my life for that. I would say Big Bang. What group or song got you into K pop? I would say like the initial breakthrough was Gangnam Style by Psy again, but uh, what really got me into it is um, either Fantastic Baby or by Big Bang or like 21's I Am The Best because the sound of it just got to me and I was I, I had to look up more and that just branched out into so much. That is the world of K-pop and I would say one of those. Next question comes from Ephraiza. I really want to ask what was your first impression when the first you know 21 or when you first knew 21 i was like this is something else this is something that i could get into like big time it was so moving and like i don't know how to describe it but it just made me want to listen to it over and over and, and see all their other stuff and then watch 21 tv and the variety programs they got into they were like the gateway like for me getting into like k-pop personalities aside from the music and seeing behind the artist. Did your life change when you're into K-pop or when you got into K-pop? I think it did because I didn't waste all this time watching K-pop before. <laughs> it's like inspiration, like in fires. In fires, man, yeah. yeah. Inspire. Inspire. Inspire, Inspire, man, Inspire, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. It's just something about it. If you didn't know K-pop, would you, what would you be right now? Or what would you be doing right now? Oh, I would probably be watching tons of anime again. So if you don't know, I was a big otaku back in the day. I've had so much sex with my body pillow that it stands on its own now. I used to keep a log of um, animes that I would be watching like uh, on my anime list and like keep track of what I'm watching, what I finished and ratings and stuff. I don't know if you knew, but I had an anime YouTube channel. And consider subscribing. I make videos about everything anime. So get ready for that. Where I did some reviews and some other videos here and there that generally that just stopped. It still exists out there. I don't know if you can find it, but if you can, kudos to you. So yeah, I would probably still be a major otaku. Next question is from Adriana Lasso. Who is your ultimate bias in K-pop? CL, can't deny it. I wanna say it over and over again. Another question from Adriana Lasso again is what group you like the most? Right now it's got seven. When I heard the new album and fly, I just went through all their stuff, downloaded everything that I liked, 
and now I got tons of GOT7 to listen to and I love their interactions and then when they're on the shows, GOT7 is just, it's goals. It's goals. Next question is from Jolie Ball. What's your old time favorite K-pop group if you can even pick and who's your bias? 21, because they were so influential into getting me into K-pop and who's my bias? See y'all again. All right, guys, that's all the questions for the Q&A. Thank you guys again for all the questions. I can't wait to do another one again. Um, a lot of people or some people ask me to do like a get to know me tag or like a draw my life. I would do a draw my life, but I've only existed for 19 years on this earth. So I don't think it would be that exciting. So later on, I would probably do like um, ask for questions about about stuff you want to know about me, about my history, about what I'm up to, about everything about me. Eventually, I'll do a video like that and then ask you guys questions. You can ask questions right now if you want. A lot of people also ask for me to um, cover dance thingy. A lot of people also ask me to like do, like sing a cover of a K-pop song. I don't know if I can do that. So yes, I am. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Sana, let's get into it. Throw off some gang signs, let's go. 